And we're moving on to some other news now. Donald Trump's impeachment trial had, was expected to be a mere formality. The Republican-dominated Senate had virtually ruled out removing their president, but that was before Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, dropped a bombshell, a piece of evidence that cuts directly at the root of Trump's defense. Trump's lawyers have argued that the president never leveraged aid to Ukraine, that there was no pressure to open a probe against Joe Biden and his son Hunter. But from a leaked page of John Bolton's upcoming book, it seems the president clearly told his top aide that aid to Ukraine will be withheld. Well, this has increased pressure on the Republican senators to give in to the demand for new witnesses, especially since Bolton had expressed his desire to testify. Remember, the Democrats need just 24 Republicans to join them for a bipartisan majority. Republican Senators Mitt Romney and Susan Collins said the leaked book highlights the need to hear from John Bolton. Trump's team largely avoided the Bolton issue on the floor of the Senate. The president's lawyer said there was nothing new in the former NSA's leaked accounts. But there are indications that Trump's team will try to prevent Bolton from testifying and also discredit his public comments. Bolton had called Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani a human hand grenade in the Ukraine scandal. But listen in to how the president's lawyers dismissed Giuliani's role on the floor of the Senate. Rudy Giuliani is the House manager's colorful distraction. He's a household name, legendary federal prosecutor who took down the mafia, corrupt public officials, Wall Street racketeers, crime-busting mayor who cleaned up New York and turned it around, a national hero, America's mayor after 9-11, and after that, an internationally recognized expert on fighting corruption. Well, Trump's team also went on the offensive against former Vice President Joe Biden's son, saying Hunter's decision to join a Ukraine-based company had raised many eyebrows. Hunter Biden's decision to join Burisma raised flags almost immediately. One article from May 2014 stated, the appointment of Joe Biden's son to the board of Ukrainian gas firm Burisma has raised eyebrows the world over. Even an outlet with bias for Democrats pointed out Hunter Biden's activities created a conflict of interest for Joe Biden. The article stated, the move raises questions about a potential conflict of interest for Joe Biden. But this leak could not have come at a better time for the Democrats. It helps them push their case for including new testimonies in the trial, something the Senate Republicans had rejected along partisan lines. I certainly hope so. There seems to be a real shift uh, in where the, the Republican senators are. And I think it's very hard for them to maintain that they, they uh, wanted a fair trial, wanted to know all the facts, uh, when there's a witness who said, I'm ready, I got something to say, we have the, an outline of what he has to say, uh, it's really hard to say we're not going to hear that. So what's likely to happen next? Will the moderate Republicans join hands with the Democrats and call for new witnesses? And even if they do, will the White House use its executive privilege to block John Bolton? Well, Zeke Miller from the Associated Press explains. Uh, parallel tracks. One is going to be the White House effort to try to block John Bolton. There are indications from the White House that they are going to try to invoke executive privilege uh, or other national security prerogatives in trying to block John Bolton's testimony uh, here. And uh, that will uh, could find its way, winding its way through the courts or not. It sort of depends. It's a political issue. Some of this has really, ne this sort of confrontation between the White House and a Senate Court of Impeachment has really never been tested before. Secondarily, uh, there is uh, what is going to happen uh, once, if, if there are enough Republican senators to cross over with Democrats and bring witnesses and documents into this trial, uh, what would come out of that? It's, it's kind of like uh, essentially opening Pandora's box here. Nobody really knows who will get called. Uh, we've seen indications from some Republicans that they would resist calling the Bidens uh, in as the president would like to or the intelligence community whistleblower. That said, nobody really knows once, that, once the doors open to the witnesses and how long this trial can go on for.